good to represent all the um, Asian Americans out there. There you go. You know, I feel like you really be a Filipino, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, personally, I'd say this is like one of the best seasons and best teams I've been a part of. You know, we went all the way to Open Division State Championship, and you know, <laughs> you know, it was a, it was a great ending to my senior year and to the four years I've been with the final. You know, it taught me a lot. It taught me you know the best things I know. You know, helped me grow as a player and as an individual. Um, so I was one of four seniors this year. I am a three-time varsity player at SI, so I made it my sophomore year. And my sophomore and junior year, I didn't get a lot of playing time, but this year, I pretty much started every game. And um, our team was super young this year. We had a lot of freshmen, underclassmen, so my role was just to be a good leader and, you know, score a couple points here and there. But um, for me, like, the highlight of my season was winning the Bruce Mahoney game, which is SI versus SH. Um, on the girls' side, we haven't won in about five years, so this is the first time we won, and it really meant a lot to me just because I grew up with the Bruce Mahoney tradition and like my family. So yeah, it was a great moment, and I just like love listening and watching the game. Uh, personally, it, it was a great experience. Um, it was kind of a rebuilding year for us because we lost nine seniors last year. So, but it was okay. You know, it was great to be a team leader. And all. Discipline. A lot of discipline and um, hard work because of uh, practices is uh, important. Of course, studies also. Um, number one is academics and number two is sports. So um, just make sure that you get to practices on time and uh, to school on time. That's so, very proud. Okay. And yeah, very proud. Um, I go to Amador Valley High School. I'm going to be an incoming sophomore. And last season, we had our best season in a few years. We made it to the league playoffs. So I'm excited for next year, excited to see what we can do. It certainly gave me a lot of confidence. I was able to step into more of a leadership role. And I, I have more confidence handling the ball, shooting now. And so this summer, I'm just going to get in the gym, put up more shots, just get better. I go to Independence High School. And my experience about 2017, 2018 basketball season is it was great. Uh, created a bond with a lot of seniors, hung with them a lot, almost every day. I say getting in shape. Uh, coach, my coach talked to me uh, about getting in shape, putting up work in the weight room, uh, eating healthy. Work on uh, handling with my left uh, while fighting fatigues and um, shooting while tired. Uh, personally, uh, I think I could have done a lot better. Um, my shot wasn't where I wanted it to be during the season, but uh, you know, just things that improve on this summer. And as a program, I think we really like defied expectations with uh, losing our starting point guard and our starting center last year, and we came out and uh, had a better season than we expected. So we're just looking to build on that uh, coming into next year. Um, just this year, just I learned that um, when I'm missing shots, you know, I can't be getting down on myself. I have to focus on doing other things to help my team win, like such as playing defense or like making the extra pass to my teammates who can hit the shot. And uh, this summer, I just need to work on, you know, getting stronger and uh, getting my handle tighter and also my shot as well. So this year, um, class of 2019, go to Mills High School. Uh, this year, I mean, we did pretty good as a team. Uh, we went to CCS, made the semifinals, only lost by a few points, but it was our first year as a completely different team, and I think we did good. I learned a lot out of the, individually out of the new season, just working hard, and going hard in every practice and everything you do, because in the end, it all, it's all gonna contribute at the end. Right. So since we lost in the CCS semifinals, I, I, I took it hard. I mean, even though it was the first time our school, um, or that was the farthest we've gotten as a school, and I'm, I'm taking it as motivation for to work harder next year and get even farther. Get as far as we can because it hurt and I want to get better as a, individually and as a team. So that's why I'm going to use it as motivation and get back in the gym keep working hard. Uh, you know, basketball taught me a lot. You know, it's been my whole life. I've been playing ever since I was like in second, third grade. You know, it's taught me teamwork. It taught me how to work hard, you know, for the things I want. Especially, uh, especially being, you know, like a small Asian point guard. You know, nothing's going to come to you easy. So it's taught me to really work hard to get to where I am and work hard for the things I want. Uh, honestly, the only thing I want to get out of this game is, you know, get that dub, get that win against the undergraduates, show them, you know, who the seniors are, you know, who's on top. I'm 
definitely communication is one of the things that I've learned is the most important. Um, just during my AAU season, I was, <laughs> I was, <laughs> I learned to be a leader for my teammates, and then I carried that into my SI season. So being able to communicate with your teammates, your coaches, your parents, your friends, your classmates, and your teachers, like it just goes a long way. Um, just being able to t um, talk with them, progress with them, and relationships and friendships and all that stuff. And I think on and off the court, it's going to be helpful as I get older, like looking for jobs, starting a family, and all that good stuff. I mean, I'm meeting new girls here from all over the Bay Area, which is pretty fun. And like being able to be a part of the first annual NorCal Women's Asian All-Star Game is pretty cool. And like I know I'll look back on this, and it'll be a pretty cool memory. Uh, this summer, I want to work on my handles and my shooting and my leadership for next year. It was an honor. Uh, she had a great season uh, last um, season, and we were just surprised and uh, happy that uh, she even made uh, the All-Star Asian American uh, League. Uh, I think it's, it's uh, very important because uh, we're all minorities right now, and this is a build-up of. Uh, the kids, uh, Asian kids, especially the Asian kids here in the United States. Uh, so she performing well uh, is a good example for younger girls to uh, perform in school, in sports, and academics. Well, with her, <clears throat> I don't have to keep her committed to basketball or school. It's something that drives her very deeply. I never have to ask her to do homework. I never have to follow up and make sure that she's doing what she needs to do. She's doing amazing in school, and she lives and breathes basketball. Um, so she's the one who's always asking me, can I go to the gym? Can I go to the gym? Can I go to the gym? <laughs> All the time. So it's easy. She makes it easy. Well, let's see. So. My, I'm half Filipino, and my Filipi Filipino family, they've always wanted somebody in the NBA or the WNBA. Always. Like, who doesn't, always. right? Like, huge Lakers fans. And my mom's family, they're all tall. And they saw them, and they were like, oh, we're finally going to have someone in the WNBA or the NBA. And I show up, and I'm like this 5'3 guard, but that's okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and make it to the WNBA for them. Uh, basketball means a lot to me. I mean, it's been all around me since I've grown up. Uh, my, my dad says that once I was born, he held me up in front of the TV watching the Warriors versus Lakers game. So it means a lot for, to our family and that's how we've all, all grown up and it's just pretty much my life.